Thank you to the patrons of the channel, especially our new patrons, Kaiser Wolf and Ramil B. If you'd like to become a patron or join the Discord, follow the link in the description. Hey, what is up, fellow builders? So Dispay sent me a box of a bunch of little goodies for me to check out and to possibly do some reviews on in future videos. And as a disclaimer, they won't get my input until the video is actually posted, and they have no say as to what I can or can't talk about with each of the products, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, the first product we're gonna be talking about is the Dispay Charibitis. The Dispay Charibidi. Charybdis. First up is the Dispay Charybdis. So getting started, the Charybdis is pretty simple. It's just a magnetic paint stirrer. You might've even come across one of these in one of your science classes where it's more like a metal plate and you put a little pill into a beaker and you press a button and the pill spins really fast and it vortexes your liquids. This little guy is essentially the same thing, except it comes with little metal rods instead of little pills. It actually comes with 20 of them and you can buy additional ones separately. When you first take this out of the box, it's gonna come without these pads. The pads do come in the box, however, you have to apply them yourself, but it's not too hard to do. My very first impression was that, surprisingly, this is not aluminum. It's a coated plastic, but it still looks pretty nice. And from far away, it does have a premium look. On the bottom, we have a door cover that says the Charybdis name on it. Inside, we can insert two AAA batteries, but we can also power this thing via USB. Unfortunately, it is micro USB. I would have preferred USB-C. That's pretty much what the norm for a lot of products these days are. Now you won't see any buttons on this thing and that's because the button is actually a touch sensor. You can see right here, there's a little hole on what should be the front. If you touch that, it'll light up blue and that's how you know that the stirrer is on. Here, let me show you an example and maybe you can hear it. Okay, maybe not because it's kind of quiet. In fact, let me show you with one of these little rods. So we got this right here, pop the rod on, and as you can see, it stays in place magnetically. When we press the button, okay, that's a really bad example. <laughs> When there's friction involved, it doesn't really spin that well, but trust me, once this is in a bottle or some kind of container, it does spin very well. Speaking of spinning power, this thing is rated to go at about 6,000 RPM when running on two AAA batteries, but when plugged into USB, it can run up to 10,000 RPM. I did a look on Amazon for other cheap magnetic stirrers that maybe could be a substitution for this, and there's only really one that is around this price range but it only goes up to 3000 RPM. I'm not sure how much of a deal breaker that may be. 3000 might be all you need when you're stirring paint, but that's just another option to keep in mind. And I'll go ahead and link that down below in case you are interested in checking that out. Also in the box, we do get a nice Dispay Red braided cable. Here we have our standard USB and on the other end, we have our micro USB. Honestly, I really like their cables and I would probably even switch to these to charging other devices. If you didn't know, braided cables are really nice because it's harder for them to get tangled up. So you could probably throw this thing into your bag to charge your headphones or something like that. And no matter what you do, it's not gonna tangle up. But yeah, part of me is more impressed with the quality of these cables than I am with the Charybdis. Not that it's bad quality. So let's go ahead and do a little trial here. I'm gonna put this glass container onto the Charybdis. Then I'll put the stirrer in it. Stirrer is still magnetized to it and we'll turn it on. As you can see, now that we have a little less friction because of the glass bottom, it can spin a lot more freely. And as an added bonus, I'll even add in some water and we'll see if we can get a nice vortex going. That kind of scared me. I don't have much of this to me, a clear blue left, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. That way you can see the paint actually mix, hopefully. Okay, so that's without the stirrer on. On the front camera, you can see it floats to the top, but it doesn't mix in. On the top camera, it looks like it's spread all about. And let's go ahead, mix it up.
Now, obviously this is not gonna be a consistency that you would spray paint with, but as you can see, it makes it pretty clearly and honestly, it didn't even take that long. Here is a close up from the top angle. I need to remember not to drink this later. But yeah, it's a pretty simple product with a pretty decent price, not too expensive. I would recommend this to people that are either mixing paint in large batches or using a very thick paint. For example, display paints are very thick and when you mix them with thinner, you have to mix them at a one to two to three ratio. That means for every part display paint you use, you have to use at least two to three parts thinner. And it's something that a mixer would really help in getting the correct consistency as opposed to just shaking the bottle. Now, speaking of bottles, I found these little bottles on Amazon. They are very interesting to mix using the Charybdis. Reason being is, I don't know if you can tell here, but there is a little notch on the bottom right here. And what makes this interesting is that when the stir rod is spinning in the bottle, it'll hit that notch and sort of wobble back and forth. This kind of helps get any paint that is settled to the bottom and make sure that's incorporated into the full mix, especially since the rest of the paint is spinning around in the bottle. So I'll go ahead and link these down below in the description as well if you want to pick some of them up. But yeah, that is all I had on the Dispay Charybdis. This one I actually bought with my own money, and this one is the one that Dispay sent me. And obviously I don't need two of these, so what that means is I'm going to be giving away one of these to you. And one fun fact before talking about the rest of the giveaway, the Charybdis is actually named after a Greek mythical creature. This creature is a giant sea worm where three times a day they would swallow water and then throw it all back up again. And this would create whirlpools that would actually suck ships into the whirlpool. So I think it's a pretty fitting name for something that creates a vortex in a little thing of paint. Now in regards to the giveaway, all you have to do to enter is comment down below one tool you think Dispay should make for us Gumpla builders or plastic model builders in general, and two, come up with a relevant name from Greek mythology. The reason being is now we have the Charybdis and we also have the Leviathan ceramic file. So it seems like they're starting to come out with this whole line of mythical creatures. So maybe a name you choose will get picked up by Dispay. Anyways, thank you as always for watching the video. Good luck with the giveaway. And in the meantime, pick up some paint, but start building.